Enciéndete, viejo. Snake tongue. Eivor! <laughs> have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We're done with this shadow play. Tefter's safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader? And an angry church ready with holy fire? They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Eivor. All to take control of Gloucestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything... you and Mother. Then... Gwyneth? A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. You and the witch? This was the plan, to make me dance your merry tune, so you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modron. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenev, but a united Gloucestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunin. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and churning us alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to st I have much to attend to here. Otherwise, I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You are already a dead man. I will not make your people suffer for your actions. Thank you, Eivor. Your mercy will be rewarded, I'm sure.
Go, my eyes. Must be careful now. Cast about this land, my friend. Chanting. It's faint, but I recognize Mordran's voice.
Father is communing with the gods on this most holiest of times, and we're stuck guarding the door. I'd rather be out here in case the ritual goes sour. <laughs> like a trap. <coughs> Need to be careful here.
Right! No mercy, rats! Step into Alzheimer. Sweat and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Madron, stay your blade. Die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Do it then. 
Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your guards to sway the mind of a man? Teftar is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. The seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I spared Kunan. Say you goodbyes, and keep out of my sight, witch. Mother? What is this? Is this... Are we in hell? No. We are in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter. Despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death? God's blood! You're safe. And the ceremony will proceed in Gloucester. Your wounds should heal by the next moon. If you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares.
Best not to draw attention here. Show me what lies ahead. Sind Piorum Ambulare Venite odoremus sed adetalata. I have returned. Guna, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful mug. I thought this could be your shared saga, but it is time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. Tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land, full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king. And then be on our way home. Yes. Ranvi will be eager to meet Bridget. Bridget and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. Oh, my God, who's going to We first met at Simkin's Wicker Man Ascension. I was besotted with you at a glance. So long ago. Some poetic symmetry after twenty years' prosperity. Gwen. Please don't do it! We can burn something else! Someone else! Peace, dear heart. I will join the dirt that grows the trees and the barley, my body feeding the gods, worms, and even you. So I will be here. And a long, long time from now, when you're old and wrinkled like an apple, you will see me again. Father, I thought I could be ready. It is time. Then this is yours. This is your path, Tifter. No thorns and briars could keep you from it. And you, Eivor, friend of Gloucestershire, you have lived up to your reputation. I know you owe me less than nothing, but please, take care of them. <laughs> <laughs> 
I take no pleasure in the suffering of others. You would know this if you had given me a chance. Twenty years I have been your elderman. Now these old bones are ready for my last duty. I have worked alongside you, clearing fields, brewing drink, births, and deaths. All growing and learning. The wicker man is ready, O oh king. Your altar awaits. I am honored to be your harvest king. With this flame set, may our crops be plentiful and our winters brief. Despite it all, he has the ending he prayed for. Straight to the mouths of hungry gods. Eivor, the honor is yours. Praise the Harvest King! Bloody pagans! Why does Kunan have to go? He's saving us all, love. Dear God, preserve Kunon's soul. It seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Novid, the settlement looks quite festive. The Yule celebration is here. It's midwinter, Eivor. Time to drink, fight, and compete in hopes of a bounteous harvest. Yolnir, the Yule god, smiles on us.
The days will soon grow longer, my friend. It's all a glorious rebirth about to begin. And you did all this? Not exactly. On a scouting mission, Sunyva and I met a group of... Uh, uh, we call them revelers. They did most of the work. Sunyva's manning the fistfight tournament. <laughs> all in good fun. Meanwhile, I have opened my own shop. Rather than silver, we use what I call Yule tokens. I made them myself. They certainly look homemade. Thank you, yes. Now, before we begin our celebrations, we need to get the brewery and the cattle farm ready for the Yule feast. And you'd like me to do that, I suppose? I would. And since I'm so fond of you, have some Yule tokens. I expect to see you at the celebrations later. What's happened here? Abel's here! Thank the gods above! Though it seems they have forsaken us. I am sorry to tell you, Eivor. Tekla is gone. What? Dead? No, no, no. She's on an errand and left her apprentice in charge. It was him who did all this. Who is this apprentice? A fellow called Ake. He'll know what happened here. You need to find him. Me? Why not you? Somebody's got to clean up this mess. Besides, I'm startlingly drunk. You go on. My cup is run dry. How is anyone meant to survive without something to drink? I need to drown my sorrows. Thank you. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Gloucestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. Thank you for treating me with respect and kindness, Eivor. He has found a family among your clan. He is more than welcome here, as are you. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That would make my work easier. What say you then? I will go now. Do you know where I might find Hjor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant. Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you.
Uber Ragnarsson. You are a long way from your king's side. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. Also, I could thank you. Thank me? For sending my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you, I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the old father will put him to good use in the next. A darkness followed your brother. One I'm not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolf Kissed. And may we meet again soon. On a battlefield, if the fates are kind.
this must be Jorvik. The Order of Ancients lurking. This must be Jorvik. The Order of Ancients lurking in streets and alleys. My old friends Jor and Lufin I live here. Jor and Lufthina are settled near this harbor. Someone should know where to find them.
I'm looking for some friends. Been told to ask around this harbor. Lufina and Hyo. Oh, oh, oh! Sure, I know plenty! Of that, I'm certain. Little one, can you help me? I'm looking for some friends. Do the names Hjor and Lufina mean anything to you? Mm. I think I know that name. A woman. She's from Biami Land. Very smart. She sounded funny, so I asked her once. Hope it wasn't rude of me. You want to speak to the dot master, Grigory? I've seen him talking with her before. My thanks. Your witness. <gasps> and what about me? Move along now. We ran a clean dock in Jorvik. You must be the Dark Master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, take it up with the Council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Lufina. You know Hjor and Lufina? What business do you have with them? Yes, I know them. Now you seem to know them too. Point me in the right direction. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Hjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. A manor? Hjor and Lufina have done well for themselves. Keep your coin pouch close to you. There are pocket thieves around lately. They can try. Here. This is their home. The place has been ransacked. And this body... It's not your or Lufina. Scattered scrolls. The thief was looking for something. struggle here. Looks like it continued outside. <laughs> Blood, but no body. Which way did they go? It's me, Lufina. It's Eivor. Eivor? What? Who sent you? Are you with them? Breathe, Lufina. You're rattled. You know me. I am a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me.
I heard there was trouble in Jorvik. I have only come to help, on my honor. I am sorry, Eivor. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. Where's Hjor? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. We may not be safe just yet. Won't be gentle, this way. Spot me. They are still looking for me. Hide low. We can slip past them. Far. Look around. Let's go. Have you seen a Bajarmian woman? Answer well if you know what's good for you. I have seen it, I swear. I think it is safe now. Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again, though I imagined a calmer reunion. We fled one problem only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richier is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone huh? is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They could mm. belong to anyone. The sludge in the streets, huh? There's Jorn. It pleases me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It's good to find you well, Jor. Both of you. 
What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I've come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Yor. What? These people sent the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret. But they failed. This is the letter that was sent to our home. The Needle, the Firebrand, the Vault. They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names. Our leads. Listen to him, Yor. He has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into Jorvik. But King Rishia's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I will need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. The Picts are winning this war. We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men. Understood, dear Farafit, but we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on. Enough. The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Cure. I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. King Rizia, I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Well, Eivor of the Raven Clan, as you can see, I'm in the middle of something. Your, perhaps for lack of better judgment, deems it necessary that you interrupt. Why? You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Lufina was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again! She survived. The Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? You some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am Farawid, war chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well fed wastrel is Auden, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want. Not what Hafton wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I will rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor... Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Hyo, send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. Tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? Come, I will take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishi will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. The circle of trust must stay between the three of us. Mother, it's like a way of doing it.